Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. Um, so today, as you can tell by the title of the video, we're doing our review on the Doctor Strange movie. And then also, we have some other things to show you. If you guys don't really want to see the toys haul that we got, then you guys can look in the comment section. We'll have an annotation where our review starts. So if you guys just want to fast forward through that, then it's down below. We went to this place, um, kind of near our town, and it's called Showroom Collectibles, and it is... Um, mostly toys yep. and stuff. I We had never been there before and I heard about it a few months ago um, but then he was on Facebook and saw it and I was like, oh, I've actually seen that before. Um, but then we decided to go in and not at all what we were expecting. Um, we found a lot of stuff and so we just wanted to show you guys what we got. First thing I guess we saw were pops, basically. That's nope. like the first thing that we were drawn to. And we don't normally get pops, but um, we just, I don't know. We first got um, pops a while back, like months ago. We got our first pop in one of our unboxings and it didn't really, I don't know. I've never really been interested in them, but since he got one, it was like his favorite one. So I don't know, we might not collect, start collecting and we might, just depending on if it's a good deal. They seem so expensive to me. So that's why I've never really been interested in getting them. But if they're like a super good price, then if it's someone that I like, then I might be interested in getting it. So we got three pops. Um, the first one that we got was Pumpkin King. Yes. Because it's from his favorite movie. One of them. Nightmare Before Christmas. And we got a Katana, because we've been collecting the Suicide Squad pops. We've gotten some Suicide Squad pops in the past, and so we'll show you guys those eventually. We just want to get the whole collection done first, and then we'll show you guys. So we got Katana. And then we also got Reverse Flash. So those were the three pops that we got. And we got some other toys. Well, I guess this is all toys. Um, so we got some little figures. I saw this one first and it's my favorite so I had to get it. Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, whatever, bobblehead. And then there was a She-Hulk one too. So I wanted that one. Just super cheap little figures. And then there's some other little action figures that we got. These ones obviously aren't in their packaging anymore, but mm -hmm. that's okay, because they're still like, they still look pretty cool to display and whatever. Mm -hmm. So we got... Deathstroke. Deathstroke. And then... He's not gonna stay up. And we also got... Cable. Cable. And then the last one's actually on a stand. This one. Woman, so pretty cool to display. Oh my gosh, oh. that just totally whatever. Yeah. That's a um. Good, one. Eventually, when we get like a bigger house, we'll have like a comic room because we're getting a lot of stuff lately, yeah. and it's just we don't have room for it right now. Um. Next thing that we saw was from Spawn. This is that was from the movie. Uh, well, no, this one wasn't from the movie. This is just from like the... Um, so the reason that we got this was because there's gonna be a new Spawn movie coming out, so we Hopefully. wanted to get some stuff before the prices go way up on it. So this one is one of Spawn's the clown. Biggest, biggest rivals. Clown. That one was a super good price. Yeah. These are all super good prices. Um... All right, and then this is the last thing that we got, but I gotta like move all this stuff first. Yeah. So this is the last thing that we got, and it is super cool. When you guys see it, you will probably all geek out. I did. It is... Explain it. It is the first appearance of the Justice League as a whole, and also first appearance of Aquaman on the cover. But it's this really sweet little 75th anniversary DC comics and it also has a little makes noise and stuff but it's just really cool to have because 
you get the all all this stuff and it was just so fun such a great deal to grab as well yeah this thing believe it or not was only 50 bucks oh yeah only no that's a really good price yeah <laughs> for us it is in the brave and the bold number 28 the alien creature Starro the conqueror attempts to invade earth five founding members of the justice league of america spring into action to battle the fiendish villain Green Lantern, a man with no fear. Test pilot Hal Jordan was given a power ring by the dying alien Abin Sur that allowed him to make real anything he could possibly imagine. Jordan accepted the ring, becoming the first Green Lantern Corps member from planet Earth. And then right here you can choose which other one you want to listen to after a while. And if it goes around like I think it's like three times. Or like turn off. Yeah. This cover has resonated yep. with comic book fans and collectors since it first appeared, inspiring many tributes throughout the years. It is also revered for having two important firsts. It showcases the first appearance of the Justice League of America, as well as being the first time Aquaman was featured on a cover. Yes. But it's so freaking cool. So if you press the button while those little lights are going around here, you can listen to the profile of the character. Yeah. So it's just really, really awesome. I really think. super cool. Yes. This is probably one of the most um, one of the coolest things. Like one of like one of the rarest, yeah, like one of the rarest and coolest things that we have. Yeah. It's comic related. Yes. So yeah. And then it also <laughs> he also gave us this cool mask to go with it. Star oh, yeah. mask. Yes. So that is everything that we got from Showroom Collectibles, and that is in Vancouver. Um, I'll just leave their information down in the description box yep. if you guys are in the Pacific Northwest area and are driving by, then yeah, just take a look at it. Yes. Yeah. And so now, our review for Doctor Strange. Yes. So, what do you think of the movie? It was awesome. Like, there's no other way to really describe it. Besides that, like honestly, I think I thought it was better than Civil War. So I did too. <laughs> yeah. So if that says anything, I don't know what will, because a lot of people loved Civil War. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Um, this one was just over the top with the special effects. Were it was like from beginning to ending, pretty much yeah. like special effects, like throughout the whole thing, it was crazy. But they were very, very well done special very effects. Very detailed, yeah, yes. very, very, very. It detailed. wasn't like something that was thrown together, like I, like we've all seen before in terrible movies. Mm. Um, I liked all the changes that they did, or most of them, like the ancient one being a title instead of just a person. I thought that was a really cool idea. To the comics, I mean, it goes by Doctor Strange as being the newer version of Marvel compared to the old Doctor Strange where he's all serious and stuff about everything. He's a lot more funny in this and quick-witted, mm -hmm. which is really, really kind of nice. A lot of, lot of Marvel's turning into that now too though, but it's yeah. making it, uh, I think, better yeah, in the end. Likeable. Yeah, more Yeah. Because people are able to connect to the character a little bit more than if they were just serious all the time. And, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Do you think that that kind of ruins it or makes the movie a little better? Um, so my favorite part was probably when Doctor Strange went and traveled and met the Ancient One for the first time, like their first interaction. Oh my gosh, that part was just crazy. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Mind boggling. <laughs> Yeah, just like his attitude, that the way that they um, portrayed him and her, like their interaction, I just thought it was really cool. Yeah, my favorite part of the movie was um, he was going to the library to meet to go get some books to read and stuff, and the he asked what the librarian's name was, and he goes and he says just Wong. Just Wong, so like Eminem. He started naming off just one name person, people that he remembered, mm -hmm. and he does it again later on, and calls him Beyonce. 
Mm. And then you see you see him going to steal, grab more books. Mm. And then you see Wong listen or you hear Wong listening to Beyonce the entire time. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. Just little things that they put in there. Mm -hmm. Just to, to little humor things. Yep. Kinda mixed it. I would recommend this movie big time. Um Again, I thought it was better than Civil War. So, it's really, really good. I mean, the special effects in it, if you don't like... I think that the whole, the special effects just kind of made the movie. That's yeah. like the really, like, the standout point yep. that I think, like, when I would tell people why they should see this movie, like... Just go for the special effects. Yeah. Watch how detailed they get with it. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I think that's it you guys um if you like this movie let us know in the comments and if you didn't like this movie then let us know still and we can start a conversation about it and i think that's it yeah i think so thank you guys for watching if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys on our next video Bye bye